All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you all prepared for this? I healed up off screen, regenerated some AP, cast protect, and Well, hello. Oh, ow. Uh, okay, so ideally, what you should do here is have a fleece use her kick uh, chain attack uh, while Joseph just uh, does whatever. Uh, preferably you know, cast magic spells or that kind of thing. Um, I don't actually have kick set on fleece, so. Well, I mean, I can easily go in and fix that, but I don't really want to. I'm lazy like that. Besides, the game is easy enough that you don't really need to. I mean, uh, what with the uh, immediate heal um, that you get with items. I kind of do need to land some chain attacks, though. Okay. No. Yes. He <laughs> ten damage with a backstab. No, oh, fourteen damage with a backstab. Oh, twenty. What? What was that Joseph's attack? Joseph, you're not healing. I think you should uh, start healing. Uh, although, well, we should probably be able to do this even without healing. It's looking fairly good. Heal me now, please. Uh, please be a very good dodge tank at this point. I grow powerful. And that made the uh, tentacles stop. And that made Joseph start healing. That's um, it's nice. Uh, oh yeah. Um, let's see. What was uh, that little um thing? It was up here. Let's see. Joseph blunt at five. We don't have blunt, so. Oops. Um, heavy arms three to nine. Parry at five or above. Dodge at six or above. Good there. Double attack if we had it. Um, one heal at ten. All right. Huh. 
I may have been reading it wrong. Well, anyway, I'll just uh, put one point into the hole here. Let's see, uh, what did you catch for that? Um, nothing. Okay. Let's leave then. Oh, oh, frozen club. Is this a good item for anyone? Not really. Well, at least we can use it at this point. Okay. So, um, yeah, we get to start uh, with a palace now. Uh, actually, well, let me just see before we do that. What is it there? And another save. And I'm pretty sure you just heard uh, a jet plane going over my house, uh, flying over my house. They do that sometimes, I don't really get it. Um, anyway. To the Nell Palace we go. Uh-huh. If you remember back in the Linnell Marketplace, or the outskirts, we spoke to a guy named Drago, who had some uh, designs and had a mission for fleece. This is it. Okay, so we are now going solo with fleas. Uh, note that we are actually not going to be getting into any fights here. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a look here. Uh -huh. Here we have an amethyst. A fair bit of money. Okay. And there was supposed to be something else, I think. Found oh, nothing. Good. Oh, now I have a bee in my room. Delightful. The corridor is supposed to be going oh into a false wall that we can open that would be this wall okay I found it never mind and that's the recovery draught however, however that is pronounced and apparently this is where we're supposed to be going uh, 
up the stairs. Um, and we are all the magic like sun in the palace. Let's not go that way. Uh, now, uh, there's one thing I didn't know about um, before I read uh, this far into the walkthrough. Uh, if we get caught enough times, we can get into the kitchen and uh, probably get some more experience points that way. Um, oh, well, look at that. Well, it kind of balances out. Uh, if we do what I am talking about here, instead of getting 700 experience points for finding Yago, uh, 700 for the entire party, that is both Joseph and Fleece, instead only Fleece will get 200 experience points. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. Uh, I wonder what this walkthrough writer is smoking because... <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I, I think he's just uh, interested in the items here. So this is the only way to get uh, servants' clothes. Um, anyway, even if that does almost slightly hamstring me for experience points at this um, part in the game, um, I think I will go ahead and get caught a few times. Let's see. Um, that guard we saw over there would walk away, then so we could get into uh, this part of the palace right here. Hello, catch me, please. Oh. Okay. That's a bit paranoid of him. We shall have to remember this. Well, I probably will forget it by the time it matters. Um, okay. To the third floor we go, apparently. Hmm, doesn't look like we can even get in there. Hello. Caught the first time. <laughs> Working on it. Um, probably we will have to be caught. Uh, two times or more. We'll see. Are you still here, Mr. Guard? You are? Okay. Let's go and get caught again. Cannot be opened. Locked cannot pick. Uh, actually... Let's put that in a quick slot. There we go. Oh well, never mind. Keep it in your pants, Joseph. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the Summoner 2, there is one part in the game where you um, can apply stealth, um, sort of. Uh, if you do it successfully, you get a whole lot of experience points. I don't think they applied that here. I mean, there's that uh, quest reward I mentioned, but... Um, Beyond that, uh, we don't really get any special points for 
being sneaky here, I think. I like the music here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, what Flea said. <laughs> they have a bit of a sass going on, these two. And that guy still hasn't uh, moved out of the way. What are we going to do? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the guard. Haha, -ha. we've made progress in failing the game. Okay, something cannot be opened. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you over there. Um, just looking for items. Nothing. A whole lot of coal in there, apparently. I haven't actually been here before at any time of playing the game. This is um, the first time I'm seeing this area. Uh, can I speak to you, please? I want to talk. Um, well, well, that, that, that's, uh, not optimal, I think. Uh, have I glitched the game now? And I don't mean just the movements there. Oh, that scared me. I haven't saved in a while. Huh, we can zoom out quite a bit. No, you didn't mean to click. You, you meant to speak. Will you start having a hotspot? No, you will not. Well, that's, um, troubling. It's not how it's supposed to work. Hmm, how about if I try that from in here? No, 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 that didn't work. Too far. Okay, well, <sighs> right. Right, I guess, um, I can't get, um, the servants close. Oh. Okay. Um, don't turn around, please. Can't open that door. Okay, this is interesting. Well, let's see, where are we in the palace, though? I uh, can't really tell either way. 
Well, this should be the second floor. We just need to find some uh, stairs leading up. Um, right. I'll just uh, dump this part still fail. Because it did. And you don't care, that's nice. Lot cannot pick. And that door cannot be opened, so we go in here. Oh, sneaky. Can I steal some of these? <laughs> oh, look at the art though. That's um, nice attention to detail, I really have to say. Uh, do we have any guards out here? No, not really. No, I don't think they think that. Well, okay. I guess the only way forward is um, <coughs> through the proper channels or something. Um, we really can speak. Yes, we can. Excuse me. She does happen to be tankard as war. Okay. Um, I guess still succeeded. Servant's boots. Servant's gloves. Servants of leggings and servants of blouse. I can tell what kind of taste this court has. Um, not much in the way of protection. That's um, <laughs> well, that's legit. Okay. Um, right. I guess we can continue with the game. Um, out this way. And up through, up the staircase. And let's see if we get caught this time. Hello? Ah, they don't care. That takes a lot of stress off this uh, part of the game, no? Uh, can I pick up anything in there though? No. Not something we can pick up. A uh, lot can I pick. 
Oh, just pretend you didn't see me then. Does it say anything about this? Uh huh. Is that. Oh, no, you are walking. Good. We're looking for a stationary guard. ring uh, I think I uh, will uh, keep the episode going until we reach the uh, end of this little um, interlude or whatever you want to call it oh stairs leading up Aha! Archer's ring nailed it. Um, is there something in that room? Nope. Okay. So we go in here and up the stairs, I guess. Who's rude? Psh. Manners. Oh. Okay. Apparently there was money in that uh, thing. <laughs> Sweet. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, it says something here in the uh, walkthrough. The layout of the top floor is actually very simple. There are two rooms in the center and the hallways curve around them like a figure eight. Um, so that's one center room and that's the other. I think this is where we're going. Uh, yeah. Anyway, oh, there's uh, you, Mr. Guard. Somewhere there was 500 gold. I'll take it. Let's see. Was it uh, this room we were talking about? I think so. We find amethyst. Supposed to find something in a bookshelf. Always find things in a bookshelf. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep telling me. Oh. Oops.
So, do you remember the woman white who poisoned Tancred? That's the one. Oh, um, a thousand gold. Okay. Good. Is there anything else? Not really. No. Okay. Uh, what is that bit of wool doing? Let's just not look at it anymore. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, uh, we actually have to go in there. Because we need Yago's key. Thousand gold room. I got it. Okay. Let's see, uh, where have we been? We haven't been very much on the north side. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's Yago, we don't want to do that just yet. Have we here? Jan's amulet. Nailed it. Apparently there's an item bag in Bellius's room. And we just found it. Yeah, yes. Uh, let's see, Yanko was in here, wasn't he? Let me pass, god damn it. <laughs> Thank you. 
And when we speak to Yago, there will be cutscenes, seeing as this episode is already at 35 minutes. Let's uh, call it a quits right here, and uh, yeah, come back in style. Well, come back swinging, I guess. Until next time.